now obviously it's like, can I go through these? Nope. That sucks. It's draining me out. I think I can take a few steps. Again, I'm going to have to start using stuff like smoke to kind of guarantee that I get out of here. Okay, I'm not going to ride my luck too hard. Just be patient. The game wants you so badly to just commit to that final run and bring your HP down to one just so you can get wiped out. It's pushing you so hard to do that. It's like, I dare you. You're not going to get it. I won't let it happen. Like I say, worst case, we do have smoke. I'm not going to constantly get game overs here for this reason, but that's what abilities like smoke are for. Like I say, this attack, I don't even, this, um, this group, I don't even like it, but I got another Judgment Staff. That's a nice drop. But yeah, those guys take ages, and their counter attack's just annoying. Um, if we encounter like a red dragon or something, it's got atomic ray will take us out. Just need to get back up. Ugh. Damn, this is intense. This is tough. Right, here we go again. So, we knew that this one was safe, and I'm going to guess this one. I feel like the middle ones are kind of too obvious. I feel like if you take a middle one, it's more likely you're going to fail. God damn it. There's going to be a lot of editing in this particular episode. A lot of like back and forth, the menu, time, and all that kind of shit. Repeat battles, battles that take a while. Oh, she can equip the twin lance? Really? Special lance that cuts enemies twice. Oh, shit. I mean, it's literally called a lance. I thought it was only dragoons that could equip it. So strange. What on earth? Well, that was lucky. Thank you, Optimize. <laughs> Uh, and then air knife. Wow, that attack is looking sharp now. I like that. Okay. But, I mean, we still need to get out of here first. Okay. Alright, let's not... I was going to say, let's not dally around too hard here, but we, we were too slow to start. Hold on. But once I get control in and stuff, we'll be okay. There's no need to panic here. There's always control plus hurricane to come save the day. And lots of thunder rods to steal, as always. That's a big attack, man. Okay. I think at this stage I won't be afraid to use some elixirs. It's... it's that kind of time. Gonna ride my luck a little bit here. Ugh. Yeah. Shouldn't have rid my luck, maybe. I'm really desperate to use that twin lance. Like I say, I'll use the elixir if need be before the battle. My priority is just on getting it done at the moment. Right, you see that twin lance? Two, three, wow. That's pretty incredible damage output. And Kryal is getting close. Right. This one. This one. There's going to be a maximum of two more times I'm going to fall through, so... There you go. So there's this one, this one, 
There we go. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, my friends, this is a little bit of an extra section. This episode might be particularly long, depending on how things go. Um, what you're going to see in the main sort of blind playthrough that I did, I missed my first summon here. And as luck would have it, it happened to be an Esper that was missable. Again, it's a bit frustrating because there's literally two or three people I ask, like, is there anything missable in this game? And most of them are like, nah, it's fine, just, you know, just go through the game and it'll be okay. And I assume that for things like summons, it might be the kind of thing where you can just go back and get them if you've missed them the first time. And I'm sure for some of them it's like that, and for some of them it is not. So before I continue on with the actual story, I need to go and get a summon I missed. So for like the rest of the playthrough, because I, I recorded another maybe three hours or so before I realized. So unfortunately, <laughs> um, I'm not going to have this summon for the rest of the playthrough, but thankfully, it's one of the, in my opinion, the most useless summons out of the whole bunch, so it should be okay. It's literally a summon you've barely ever seen me use in any playthrough that I've ever done. So, let's have a look at this. Basically, this area is a bit annoying because obviously, uh, once you come through here, there's sort of three points of interest. The first is the chest on the top right, the second is the chest on the right, and then there's a skull at the bottom, which is going to be the one that you need to get onto to actually leave the area. Now, unfortunately, one thing I forgot during this whole shenanigans is that you have this glowing orb. Now, I thought this was where we're going to eventually end up anyway, and so like once I already got through this room and I got to the save point, I carried on ahead, I kind of forgot that we hadn't addressed this glowing orb thing. And that right there is actually the summon. So how do we get there? It's, it's one of these things, it's obviously simple once you've actually looked it up and you know that it's there. But you actually have to go through um, the skull at the top. So there were four points of interest here. I went to three. I went to three of them, and this is how you get to the top skull. And this basically teleports you over to this bit. I'm actually curious what happens if you go down here. Ah. Okay. Where does this even take you? I didn't try this actually. I did a quick test to make sure I was in the right place. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, there you go. At least we learned that much. But I still need to get to this bit. At least I know how to do it now. But I always say, especially when it comes to summons, I try to show everybody um, pretty much every single summon, even though I don't tend to play with like a completionist attitude per se for a lot of the playthroughs. Summons are one of those things that I try not to, to compromise on. So even if I won't have this one for the rest of the playthrough, um, I want to see it and I want you guys to to see it as well, if you haven't before. Okay, so one final thing. Don't need that. Carbuncle, I will join you if you're stronger than me. Come on, show me what you got. So yes, Carbuncle was a summon that I missed. And of course, Carbuncle is famous for Reflect. From what I know, summoning Carbuncle pretty much gives everyone Reflect. And maybe some other buffs or something is not really a big deal. Um, I forgot to change the time magic, but whatever. Um, it used ice. Let's try, try and throw a flame scroll. Okay, that's something. Um, I feel like Carbuncle's pretty much going to have Reflect for like, the entire thing. So, we should probably have Reflect 2. Let's give it to Beefy Bart's. Almost 2000 HP. Okay. Let's bounce a Fire Raga off. Yeah, that's good damage. Hmm, evasive though. I wonder if this is like in float status carbuncle maybe has like a, a floaty vibe. It does have that aura around it. But before I get carried away... Yeah, the magic does hit a little bit hard, gotta be careful. Let's see if we can Libra carbuncle. Okay, 15,000. It didn't give me like a full breakdown, that's a bit weird. Whoops. I thought it was Faris for a second. But yeah, physically it seems to be able to dodge a lot of attacks and the defense looks pretty high. 
Only 198 damage, that sucks. Wow. Okay, it's no joke. Let's try with Faris now. Nope. Hmm. That's pretty weak. So I guess it does want you to take it on with magic. I'm just going to Kurage anyway. This is just for... Like, I'm not going to use this save from here on. It's just to show the battle and how to get it. Um, I think Bio broke through... Is there one of those spells that broke? I think Comet does, but maybe Bio doesn't. Like with these, I don't know if they count as like um, spells, stuff like Time Slip. Let's just try it. There you go, that worked. Oh, okay. Why am I suddenly doing more damage now? Was that like a barrier that no longer is a thing? Yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm back up to full damage, so it must be like a phase. Nice. Okay, things are going pretty well. I've only received like two or three Blizzaras and that's been it. Whoa, his defenses are way down. What the hell? He only had 15,000 HP. He's going to literally die any second now. That's pretty feeble. Yeah, it's literally going to die on these turns, I think. If not then, pretty much guaranteed to die... Ah, oh, shit. It's got Reflect stuff. So. What, even the Reflect wore off? Wow. That's terrible. So yeah, th this is a summon that you get, but surely it's not going to be this summon, this kind of summon that you're going to use a lot in your playthrough. But there you go. 11 ABP. You kids are strong after all. This could be good for a laugh. Receive the summon monster carbuncle. So there you go. That's what I missed. Um, it's a level 4 summon. It's the first one here. And it's annoying, but basically, um, based on some events that are going to happen later, you're going to realize that Carbuncle is going to be missable. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I guess I'll quickly summon as well, before I sort of cut back to the normal play here. But then again, I'm only a level 3 summoner, I think. Yeah, I'd have to get 60 LV points, but I'm pretty sure that um, Carbuncle basically just gives everyone Reflect. Maybe it heals and gives Reflect, or maybe it does a bit of damage and gives Reflect, or something like that. So I'll put an annotation in just to tell you what it specifically does, but honestly, it's it's one of the most least used summons of like my Final Fantasy career, so I'm kind of a bit bummed that I missed it, but at the end of the day, it's something I can still show you guys, and it's something that's not going to be that important to me in the playthrough, so it's not really a big deal. But there you go. That's what I missed. That's how you get Carbuncle, my friends, and I'm going to cut back now to the main video. And I'll be continuing on without Carbuncle, unfortunately. Okay, that was an intense 19 minutes. Now do we have a boss battle on our hands? Surely we do. Again, I don't know if I should switch to boss battle mode or not. I think we can here, surely. But I think what I'll do is I'll literally use a second 10 here. Just get everyone up to full MP. So let's just get to boss battle mode first. Um, I'm enjoying this. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Okay, that's looking good to me. And surely it's boss battle time now. Let's go. Hmm. Uh. I mean, it's a wide enough area, but is it a boss battle pit? Is it going to pop out from there? Hmm. Okay. Right, there's that bit. Oh, it's Gilgamesh. Oh, jeez, Gilgamesh! Haha, <laughs> looking for something? Well, guess what? I already took the treasure. Oh, you guys are so burned. 
<laughs> Gilgamesh d does give me like a little bit. Oh, Lily put true lyric. Whoa. Does give me a little bit of like Ultras vibes, and he's a, he is a bit of a Joker type as well. Now, that theme again. I did say it's one of these themes I don't mind it being recycled, honestly. I need to move. Um, I need to move the Blue Mage back, actually. Blue Mage shouldn't be front row. Level 53, now we're talking. Okay. Um, yeah. Oof. Well, that's a pretty solid hit. So again, I'm going to treat this seriously here because there's been some there's been some difficult battles here for sure. I want to make sure I do it the right way. And of course, I want to kind of enjoy the theme for as long as possible, and not just completely spam everything here. Look at that. Okay. Um, I mean, I do have big MP now, so I can definitely make use of that. But let's start with something light, like flamethrower. See how we do. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. He's he's not really having that. Fine. Dun, 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 dun. Theme just absolutely timeless. Two criticals here. He's basically doing all the damage himself anyway. Don't even need to do anything. I mean, let's go for a big Eroga here. See how it deals with level 3 magic. There you go. That's some more legit damage. Pons chorus. Oh, he's got all the the stays effects this time. Damn. Okay. Uh, Maiden's kiss. Look at them stays effects piling up. Okay. So Eroga works pretty well, but in terms of like MP cost to damage ratio, it's not fantastic. What level was he? Level 53. Yeah, the level three flare wouldn't have helped here. Yeah, of course it is a prime number, <laughs> which is unsurprising. Let's just see. Oh, Acrobat is 38 MP. I guess it hits everyone, so maybe it's a bit more. It hits everyone as standard. I think I'll stick with Eroga for now. Honestly, I think I'd rather get the physical attacks going again. So I've foregone the stealing here, maybe we could have stolen something, but I think the last couple of times, that's three criticals now. I think the last three times we met, he didn't have a steal, I believe. I mean, we're doing pretty well here so far. Yeah, I mean, again, that being said, I think MP-wise, Aerogo is still probably the best attack that I have. 24 is not even all that bad. They might use some random magic, so I'm going to try and protect against that too. Okay. Honestly, I've got a triple hit set up now, so I should be fine. But let me try and put a slow on. Gilgamesh anyway. There you go, it worked. It's good. Now, um, let's try something like Fire Raga. It's cheap enough MP wise, so I'll just go for it anyway. Oof, it's definitely better than their Ogre. Already, our fourth rumble. I must say, I quite enjoy these tussles. I feel we've gained an understanding. As long as you're enjoying yourself, Gilgamesh, I definitely am. Especially with this theme, it's hard not to enjoy a battle. Okay, at least this time Faris was free of being hit. Um, 
Yeah, I think at this stage I don't really need to do much else. I could haste some more people up, but... In fact, I'll just haste Bart's up because he's doing big damage. And I think we'll just... We'll give it the onslaught and try and finish it. But yeah, these are working better for me. Yeah, we'll just go with this. Get everybody on the attack now. I don't think it's going to last long if we all just start spamming our moves. Yeah, especially with Haste 2, we're just really kicking ass here. It doesn't have much of a chance. I wonder if Bio is something we'll gain if we become a level 4 Red Mage. Seems like it could be. I mean, 2,000 at a time is just is punishing. And understanding that I will pound you silly. Ha <laughs> ha! You can try. You, you're about to get triple hit here. Look at that. He's taking 2,000 damage on the regular. So he's, he is not going to last long. But you can see how quickly the MP gets drained when you're going for them big moves. My Red Mage is a bit incapacitated here. Like, these level 2 spells, I think as the game goes on, they really do kind of fizzle out. Probably Black and White Mage combo is still going to be the best overall. But the only reason I've still trained the Red Mage is if I want to have Summon 2. Because I feel like Summon and Red Mage is also a good combo. Otherwise, just the black and white combo does seem best. What happens if I just attack? Ah, oh, shit, sorry. When the character's actually selected, the darkness animation disappears. So I didn't see it, but we still hit. I guess it's magic, so it's not technically, like, it's unaffected by blindness. Say, what happened to that spry old fellow? He, he fought X-Death and... I see. I do like these mid bout conversations. It's not quite at the level of the stuff that we get in Fire Fantasy VI, which is which was just ridiculous and hilarious sometimes. But at least Gilgamesh is giving us a little bit of that feeling too. But the blue mage is almost out of MP. Meanwhile, red mage has like 190 still. But, I mean, we've done a lot of damage here. It must be like 20,000, something like that, maybe more. But I'm fairly happy here. I mean, he came in with the stage effects at the start, but after that, it wasn't a huge deal. Um, hmm. It's more. Oh, God, Discord. I can learn that, right? That was a Fire Fantasy VI ability. But now, that's going to be... I kind of feel like using Dark Spark against it. Wait, doesn't Dark Spark do the same thing as Discord? I swear it did. Level Heart. That's weird. Two moves that do the same thing. They must be slightly different in some way, but... I don't really know how. Let's just keep it up. I guess the, the level got half, so we're doing a little bit more damage here, I think. But this is going to be over soon. Honestly... I've got 18 elixirs, should I just use one? But I feel like we're close to the end of the battle, I'm going to use it and then within... 20 seconds, the battle's going to be over, so I won't use it. Screw it. Yeah, with Discord, I'm really not doing as much damage now. 
but Bart's and Faris are just, they're doing 3,000 damage every time. Enough expository banter. Now we fight like men and ladies, and ladies who dress like men. For Gilgamesh, it is morphing time. Whoa. Holy shit, okay. Well, that's the definition of shit just got real. Um, okay. Let's take this even more seriously now. I'm trying to remember who's got haste and who doesn't at this stage. I don't think everyone has it. Maybe Faris herself doesn't? I think I've used it twice, but I forget exactly who had it and who didn't. In that case, I will use the elixir. Because this battle's continuing on here. And I might need those powerful moves. Give Bart's a protect too. Okay. Now let's see what kind of damage we're going to be taking here. Still criticals here. <laughs> what a beast. Now that it's mine, let's see how good this Excalibur really is. I bet we could steal an Excalibur. 32 damage. He's trolling me now. I think the only one that might not have haste is... Honestly, I can't tell at this stage. I think we'll just keep going. I mean, we're still doing good damage here, so I'm not too worried. Um... Still might be worth a shell here. Okay, doing about 30% less damage. It's not the end of the world. It's still pretty, pretty decent numbers. How about you? He's doing 32 damage right now, so I think I'll be okay. I wonder if his level's changed. But even if it did, I don't think it's going to make much difference to me. I'm going to keep pounding with the Fire Argo with my Blue Mage. I mean, my HP is pretty healthy. He hasn't really had a move that's hit for like over 500 or something. 700. He's got to have more up his sleeve. Hmm. Yeah, why I've been had. Yeah, someone sold you a fake, son. So I'm just going to keep doing my thing. There isn't. I'm just going to keep attacking here. I've got my buffs in place. Like, not completely, but until I see something major from him, I don't think I need to really do much. I don't know to what extent we should take him super seriously. He's, he's such a troll that... <laughs> this is far from the strongest of swords. I feel so betrayed. Like, is he lulling us into a false sense of security? He's going to bust out with some sword that does like 1,500 or something. I can definitely see it happening. We're too deep into the game for, for fun and games, surely. And I mean, the HP alone is a good sign. We've surely done like... 40,000 at this stage, maybe more. Gilgamesh! Urk! Ooh. Okay, the tone's definitely changed here. The gold hairpin is so good, though. Okay, so what's the deal now? You worthless fool! For your continued bungling, I banish you from this dimension. Holy shit. What? what No! Anything but that. Silence. 
Holy shit. Throw it into the rift. No! Oh, wow. I thought maybe like x -Death himself was going to appear, but then it would have basically been the final boss battle, surely. And it's just not time for that. We've got the Excalibur. This is the one that has like one attack, probably. Wow. So we're still here. We end up on that side of the room. Okay, these guys again. Uh, okay, let's keep doing what we've been doing. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, at the start, he came in with some like status effects and stuff, and I thought, oh wow, like this is going to be a a very interesting battle. But then it kind of descended into more like trolling. I mean, he switched forms and he got worse, like way worse. So I don't really know. Um. Let's just do something like that. Only worked on one of them. If I can take them all out at the same time with kick, then that would be perfect. Unless all three use raise at the same time. Sorry, arise. Well, close enough, I think. There we go. Yep. So annoying. I thought I was going to take it out with um, with kick. Like all three of them at the same time. And of course we have the darkness that carried over from the last one. Yeah, these guys are just so annoying. Um... Honestly, other than putting them to sleep and then taking them out that way, I haven't really figured out a better alternative. But it's just like, it's just extra turns of faffing around, really. I guess I could probably use Silence or something, too, since Arise is a spell, surely. Come on, someone finish this off. Oh, come on, Arise is a spell, it said no effect. It shouldn't have an effect, it shouldn't even be able to cast it, this under silence. Hmm, okay. Partisan. Wasn't that like a spear or something last time? Okay. Let's have a look at that stuff. Excalibur. Legendary Holy Sword? Yeah, Partisan is still a spear, and the Fuma Shuriken is obviously a more powerful Shuriken, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to go back to random encounter mode here, with control and stuff. Um, I think it can still use... Blast even when it's been minied, so it doesn't really make much sense. Nice. So our thief is not our thief is no longer there. I'm wondering if I should switch back at this stage. Ah, I was going to say it just about survives that, um, but that's fine. Got plenty of MP. Let me just see how much this does to this guy. Damn, that's powerful. Okay. Yeah, I was pretty close to level 4 with the Thief, so I'm just going to stick with it for a little bit longer. I feel like even by the time I... Wait a minute, this is full again. I'm still going to save first, <laughs> in case it's like loaded. Right, 
right? I should be able to take these guys out with one, unless random variants here. Screw you. Wow. That was a huge amount of damage. I only need one more attack here to take it out. There you go. So I definitely want to have a save having beaten Gilgamesh, because it's this section has been pretty tough. With the lava and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, is it worth tenting here? I think so. I think once I'm back on the world map, I will go to a shop where I can restock again. I've definitely got some gill now, too. And I've stolen a bunch of poison rods, too, which always helps. So let's check this. It's still empty. That's interesting. Now... <laughs> Gonna go back into X Death Slayer again, so maybe I should switch back to boss battle, mo boss battle mode again. Okay, I'm back to my boss battle mode. Twelfth floor, it just goes on and on and on. Okay, these guys are still easy enough to take out, so let's just do that. At least I finally managed to eat through some of my gold needle stock. It's just a shame I just can't get that thief to level 4, because every time I switch it off to go back to boss battle mode, there's still more random encounters. At least the monk should be mastered soon. Very, very close. Oh wow, and so is ninja. Okay, we're really close. But there's just more encounter still. Um, gonna try and. Oh, shit. That sucks. I'm still gonna take this one out first. The tackle ability or whatever that it has is dangerous. The Reflex Mage is a move anyway. Yeah, there's the Excalibur in action. I remember it only doing it having like one strength or only doing one damage or something. So its attack is 100, but it's a troll weapon, so it's still the same. That hasn't changed. Okay, this should take me to the next level. Jewel wield, yes! Mastered, perfect. So... That's pretty cool, because you can switch back to something like Thief and still dual wield, which is pretty cool. So, like, is it better to... to do that? Because now I have Steel as standard, but then I don't get time magic. So I still feel like this is the better option. Um, I guess we can still work the Time Mage here instead. I mean, my attack is still 116, even though my strength kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm curious to know how much damage you do when your strength is only 22. Yeah, it's not ideal, but since I want the the ninja to, to be as good as possible, when time magic is the secondary ability, it seems like it might be a good idea. Or there's got, maybe there's another job that I can give her. Um, I'm going to stick with this for now. It's not, it's not ideal, but let's just see. Are there more random encounters here, or... 13th floor. It looks like it. <laughs> Arrgh. 
God damn it. I just don't want to get sucked into a, a big boss battle where, like, Quarrel's a thief. It's not what we want. <laughs> 